Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Veil World and today is the day that mysterious enchanted egg that was going to take over one day and several hours to be laid is finally here and I still have no idea what it could be but it's definitely not the Gemina twins that we were going for uh, and we do still have the Gemina's special breeding chance activated right now so we are running that inside of our brewery at the second so we probably need to hurry and go ahead and clear out whatever egg this is and have our beautiful mist and borealis dragons try for another enchanted Gemina I am really really nervous so what is going to happen what is going to happen once we we find out what this egg is i'm definitely going to have to rush hatch it but what on earth could it be let's do this what is that what is that i don't think wait what is that wait <gasps> is that hang on is that an enchanted version of the gemina after all i okay where's the gemina where's the gemina Maybe that was an enchanted Gemina all along. Okay, let's see. Uh, no, that's Dragon Sai, and they're all very adorable, but not what we're looking for. Uh, all right, where's my dragon, dragon area? Um, all right, so the Zodia, the Gemina dragons. Let's go ahead and get a good look at them. I want to see what do they look like egg-wise. Oh, I guess I can't. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, you have to go back into the book. And then you have to go ahead and you have to say, I want to look at the eggs. Wait, is that an enchanted egg? Why did it take so much longer? Just because it was enchanted? No, I don't think that is. It just looks really similar. So this is just one mystery after another and I am so excited. We are definitely going to be spending the gemstones to hatch open this egg in just a little bit here, my friends, uh, and figure out what mystery it is. But first we actually need to go ahead and collect up our coins, gather up our food, and basically take very good care of the dragons we currently have because this is this is quite an exciting day i'm sure that everybody is very thrilled and very curious to see what this unknown egg is going to be we also have what is hopefully a non-enchanted flytrap dragon hanging out uh, egg form inside of here with bridget our fire dragon and holga our jungle dragon we'll hopefully be able to get a good egg from them in just a second but I I did that because I figured we might as well try to get all of the dragons. Eh, might as well. Might just give it a good little try. And Tiara, one day when I have some spare food, we will continue to grow you up, you hungry, hungry, hungry child, you. Uh, oh, and we are still clearing out some areas back here, working on our water dragon exhibits in celebration of summer. So we are trying to save up so that we can get all of the 9 million coins that we need in order to expand this area and provide our ice dragons with their habitat. But that's going to take a long time. So I'm trying to at least make it so that our wonderful water dragons can have a little bit more space to play and we can at least get one of the exhibit areas set up. And since it is indeed summer, it seems appropriate to kind of work on the water dragons area with their beachy themes and everything else they have going on for them. All right, let's go ahead and clear out a few of these flowers. Probably spent way too many coins considering we might need to build a new habitat in just a second, which would be very exciting. And we actually have another enchanted egg that we are gonna hatch before this one too. Since we have one bouncing around right over here, this beautiful pink egg. So we're gonna look at that egg in just a moment. But let's go ahead, oh, we're gonna turn in this dragon for one, just one, oh my gosh, just one of our little crystals. We need all those crystal pieces so we can have more enchanted dragons. And speaking of enchanted dragons, this is the egg that our beautiful Mist and Borealis dragon laid last time. And it is not the egg we were going for, and it's not a super rare surprise egg, but it is still going to be a brand new enchanted dragon to add into our habitats. So let's go ahead and see what it's gonna be. Come along, little one! <gasps> wow! An enchanted frost dragon! She's beautiful! Little pink snowflakes! Oh, she's gorgeous. She is absolutely gorgeous. We should have her and the uh, the other frost dragon hang out together. That is that is just absolutely beautiful. Oh, how exciting! And we have an enchanted borealis dragon too. Uh, hanging out somewhere around here. So that's a good matchup. I think our borealis dragon 
is actually hanging out in in like the fairy area yeah there he is there's our enchanted borealis dragon so that's so fun because the mist dragons are some of my favorite and they're teeny tiny and beautiful so let's go ahead and give her enough food that she can get up to level four she's so dainty i would worry about her like getting hurt if we don't keep a good eye on her and then we'll play with her later in the future when we have a little bit of time uh all right let's keep going we also have this mystery egg to hatch uh, we have collected one of these dragons already, so we're gonna go ahead and get its egg form. I think this is like one of the little paradise dragons. Let's see, we'll go ahead and put that in the jungle to deal with later. Gather this egg. Nope, not the egg we were going for. Uh, and we'll play with that in just a second. But alright, we, we don't want to waste any time trying again for another enchanted dragon in our attempts to get Anna and Hita a, a sibling of sorts. That's what we're really trying to do here is we're trying to get our Zodia dragons a enchanted set of siblings. I think that would be amazing because I just love twins and I just love, <laughs> oh look at them, they're so pretty. I love these dragons in particular. So it would be really fun to try to get more Geminas uh, to, to just have and to play with. Let's go ahead and feed these two up. Can I get them all the way up to level eight? Ah, they need so much food. I grow food all day and all night and it barely makes one meal for them. Oh my gosh. Uh, so on that note though, we do need to start thinking about what we're going to do. I need more crystals. Let's go ahead. We're gonna craft up another crystal. All right, our enchanted crystals. Ah, this represents like months of saving all of these and it's, it's gonna be worth it if we can have the beautiful Zodia enchanted dragons because they just ah, that particular one just represents like the balance and peace and I love that color coordination for a lot of deep reasons holy moly they're expensive oh my gosh oh my gosh my heart okay so we want to use these carefully but let's go ahead we're gonna retry once again adding in a crystal there we go and we have a 20 percent chance that this could be it is this going to be our zodia dragons no dang it i don't think so unless this is our zodia dragons and i just got way too many zodia dragons this is gonna be a little bit of a pickle i don't know what's happening <laughs> Uh, am I just spending money for the sake of spending money? Did I just waste my precious, precious, precious gemstones? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Can I get more money over here? Uh, what the heck are these things? Geez, shimmering orbs. Now I gotta collect up some of those. Uh, here, you can have a blazing thing. Maybe I should start. What is that? A billow. Oh, that's a billow dragon. What? My billow dragon doesn't look anything like that, fully grown. Uh, all right, well, we've got quite a few pickles, conundrums, unknowns going on, upgrades that we need to do. Uh, I'm beginning to think I do need to start really sending my dragons out to gather things because we need to start filling up some of these uh, arcane airship events if we wanna get enough of the crystal pieces to keep making enchanted crystals. I only have five days left, so we're under a little bit of pressure here uh, all right so okay actually like my billow dragon looks nothing like that so I don't even where is my billow dragon like my mist dragon where's my billow dragon billow dragon where are you Fuji uh, Alphanon are you a billow dragon where is okay I should actually be able to find my billow dragon a little easier that's my mistral dragon who's really cute so let's come over here and find where my billow dragon is I don't even think I could dream about wanting to actually level him up to level 15 for for the the shipment either. Ah, okay, we don't have a rhyme dragon yet too, which will be something I want to work on. Mist, wink, willow, let's see, origami dragon, Gemini dragon. Yeah, do I even have a billow dragon? I don't even, okay, hang on, tundra, water fern, tropical canyon, polar reef, rami fossil, imp, fox glow. I have a lot of dragons, <laughs> but I, do I even have a billow dragon? There's my billow dragon. You're so tiny. Alphanon, you grew up into, into something big like that. Here. All right. Oh gosh. He's so cute. Okay. Oh, he's so cool. Oh my gosh. You are so awesome. And you have to be at level 15 before the end of the day to go on the shipment. 
This is this is a very high demand she's asking of me, but I think the Billow Dragons just became one of my favorites. Oh my gosh. Maybe we'll get an enchanted version of you, like an enchanted rainbow E dragon. Not the rainbow dragon, but a rainbow E dragon in the future. So alright, maybe I can pull that off, maybe, with a lot on the maybe aspect of things. Uh, but there we go. And we're we've got another one of whatever these are. So that's a that's a mysterious thing. Let's go ahead and hatch it now, guys. I think we've done everything else we need to for the day. I'm gonna have a brief panic about spending so many gemstones, but for your guys' sake, so we can see what it does together. Whew. So who are you? <gasps> Wait, it has the enchanted Gemini dragons! Why did they have a longer egg time? And what on earth? Oh my gosh, what have I done? Now I have I have three sets of twins! What have I done? <laughs> Do I even have enough gemstones to put them all down? Oh my gosh, this is amazing! I love these two! Oh my gosh! Uh, so, like, maybe, uh, Og Ogma? Okay, we're gonna come up with a new pairing of names for these beautiful twins, but I am very happy right now because I just really wanted these little ones, and now suddenly I have a flock of Gemina dragons, which was not what I meant to do, but what better way could there have been to spend a crystal, for real? So I'm actually super happy about that, except for the fact I'm about to have to spend a lot more gemstones. <laughs> so, yes! Yay! Whoops! Whoops! And yay! Whoops! And yay! But we have done it! So, alright, now we need to make more room for our Gemnas. We can either come over here and we can upgrade for 100 gemstones, or we can do what many of you guys suggested and go ahead and repair this side of the habitat for 50 gemstones, and eventually we will be able to upgrade uh, a spot and just have an entire flock of Gemnas. I, I did not mean to have that many Gemnas, we might as well. Maybe, maybe I'll even, I don't know. I, I kind of want to hatch all of them, but I guess, is there any point in collecting the eggs? I'm going to have to think about that. I don't really want to. I want, I mean, I guess we could if the breeding, we don't have to get like the enchanted egg, but is there a point in like building up your, the eggs? Oh, gemstones. Yes. I've cleared obstacles and I have hatched dragons with the air traits. So give me those gemstones, please. Okay, hang on one second. Hatch a thousand. We've we've not hatched a thousand dragons yet. What? Uh, let's see. Hatch ten enchanted dragons. We're working on it. Spells, brew potions, upgrades, decorations. Is there anything in here that says anything? Collect 75. Oh, there is something about enchanted egg pedestals. Huh. Huh. That sounds a little too hard, though. That sounds a little bit... I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. But I'm hatching the next egg, too. Uh, because of celebration purposes. <laughs> so, alright. Let me go ahead and get down some of the plants. And we'll go ahead and come on up. Let's repair this side of the Zodia area. There we go. Spent all my gemstones, more or less, today. Quite, quite the ordeal, if you ask me. Boom. Now we have another spot that we can put down the new ones. Oh, look, and oh, look at that. Oh, sweet. So you can just continue to repair the habitats. Good, we can just shove the third set of, of twins up there for a little while too. <laughs> Suddenly I am just covered in twins. This is amazing. All right, little ones, let's go ahead and put you down. And then I'm gonna have to think of something. I'm gonna have to think, you know, I don't know what the name is gonna be yet. But I want it to be something super special, so I'm going to need to give it some careful thought. But look at that. We now have two sets of twins with a third on the way flying overhead. All because, for some reason, enchanted dragons take a longer hatch time. And I just didn't realize that. So this is, this is really, truly quite amazing. And I'm literally one food short from being able to feed them. That's a little bit sad. <laughs> but there we are, our beautiful enchanted babies. They look like the, the yin and the yang uh, symbol and that actually has a lot of meaning in our household for what Chips studies and how he and I live. So that was just important to me to think about balance and to think about 
the way that there's good and bad in the world, but you always have to kind of acknowledge one and the other. It's, it's complicated. Basically, it means a lot to me, okay? So I'm very happy to have them. And now I just need to figure out what to name them. So all right, that was awesome. This is like the more twins than I meant to have. I probably should have hatched the egg first, um, but what's done is done and I, I will have no regrets over having even more twins. So uh, let's see, and we'll clear out some of these spots. And I think what we might want to start working on is actually getting, let's see, is that something to clear out? It sure is is maybe some of our water areas now. So maybe we'll start leveling up our water dragons and maybe we'll start working on some of the uh, decorations, just making this area super nice. <laughs> I'm still kind of stunned that we had that turn of events, but we'll worry about that later. We'll go ahead and upgrade this water habitat. We'll upgrade a few of them. Let's see, that's level two. And this is level two. How much for level three? We have just enough, there we go. All right, so yeah, we'll work on getting our upgrades in and then now that we're starting to clear out an area and settle down and have tons and tons of twins, <laughs> we can start picking projects and really focusing on what we want to do in our world. So I'll see you guys next time for yet another set of twins flying over our skies as we figure out where we're going to go with our ridiculous adventures here. Until then, guys, bye bye.